Hey, what's up guys? Football Pia here. And today, I decided to change things up a little bit and decided to give you a little bit of that nice scenery in the background instead of my boring old room. For today's video, I have something really cool planned and it is how to desync your soccer shoes. Um, the shoes I'll be using in this video are the Nike Magista Obra. For all of you out there who play soccer on a regular basis, um, you guys know exactly how much your shoes can smell. And with the Nike Magista Obra, the fly in it smells even worse. Just imagine yourself playing in soccer for like, uh, playing soccer in, in socks for like three days and then not washing them and leaving them in your, under your drawer for another two days and then smelling that. That's exactly what these shoes smell like right here. And my mission is today is to get these to smell nice again and on the way, of course, showing you how to do it yourself at home. Like I just already mentioned, I'm pretty sure that all of you have experienced this weird, funky smell coming out of your shoes. The reason that this smell accumulates in your shoe is be due to all the bacteria um, that is released from the sweat um, while you play. And this sweat then um, becomes stuck in the shoe. And without actually or properly cleaning this, it will stay in there and obviously your shoes will reek. So... My solution for this and what I always do has two steps um, in the process. The first step is going to be to take just um, a brush and clean the inside of the boot. So by just doing, by just taking it inside and pretty much rubbing out all the weird fun uh, gunk in there. And then the second step, once you're done cleaning them, is to use this product, um, the sneaker balls, and it pretty much deodorizes shoes. Um, for me, this has done a very good job in the past. I purchased a new, a new one for the sake of this video. If you're looking to purchase one yourself, or um, if you're, yeah, if you just want to follow this tutorial, you can find them at pretty much any sports store. For example, I purchased mine at Sports Authority, but um, many online stores will have these as well. So what I've done now is I've just cleaned off the upper and all the um, debris or the mud on the upper. So. To clean the inside of the shoe, I'm going to take out both insoles. Um, <clears throat> just take out both insoles. And then what you'll do next is you'll take a brush. I use this brush from Ikea. Um, take a little bit of some hand soap. Put it right on there. And really just start scrubbing on the inside. Make sure to get all areas. And you really don't have to be too careful about it especially since um, it is a synthetic and you can just wash it out. No damage will be done. After you have finished scrubbing the, all the, ins or the entire inside of the shoe, including the heel and the forefoot, you're going to go ahead and pretty much soak these shoes in water. I'm just going to show you how you're going to do that. The faucet is right above here, so just let some water drip in. Just a little bit and pretty much just tilt the shoe so the water can... Um, there's, as you can see, there's quite a bit of water in there with some soap to pretty much just wash out what's in there, shake a little bit, um, pretty much just soak the sh inside of the shoe with water. You should be done with the cleaning. Just take a rag and wipe off as much as you can, and then afterwards we'll let them dry. Now that you've finished the cleaning, uh, you can now put the insoles back in the shoe. One thing I didn't mention the cleaning video part was that if you scrub the insoles and on this flyknit shoe, this dynamic fit collar as well, it will help remove the stink, just a quick tip. So now that the insoles and the shoe are both dry, um, go ahead and unwrap those sneaker balls. I already um, took the, uh, removed the packaging and all there is on the, on the packaging, it tells you to um, twist the ball for it to start working so that the vents are opened um, and then all you have to do there is put the ball inside the shoe like that. And if you smell the sneaker ball, you can smell the odor that will, or the scent that will distribute within your shoe, um, which will then sup uh, supposedly remove the odor permanently. Um, however, of course, when you play soccer, it will come back, but then you just put the sneaker balls in again afterwards. And once they wear off, you'll have to buy new sneaker balls again. So that was it for my video today, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, hope you enjoyed it and thought this was informative. 
share it with your friends if you thought it was and just to show me that you appreciate these kind of videos and I'll make sure to make more of those if you do. But other than that, I have nothing to say. See you next time. Peace.